Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the playlist on Computer Vision. The last lectures in transfer learning, we actually like prepared our own VGG 16 model and uh, we did apply some uh, like uh, early call by like callbacks method on basically so we see how the model was performing and we find out that the model was performing a touch better than like what it was performing in convolution neural networks uh, i guess we are quite satisfied with the performance of model as well but uh, i will give you like uh, another example about how we can like use uh, transfer learning in the in this data set only so we'll be using the inception model like which is again a type of transfer learning model and we'll be looking at what accuracy it is giving us so if you have seen the model architecture then you can but remember that all of these models are basically like built using convolution neural networks and max pooling 2d and then like dropouts and batch normalization as well only like how the layers are actually formed differs so everything all is like a cnn network only or a cnn model only but it differs by name on how the model architecture is actually created so without wasting much of our time let's get started on this so what i will do is i will go ahead and uh, like this was all the previous code that we actually wrote so i will go ahead and import the required models for you so from keras dot applications import inception now inception i guess has three parts uh, like uh, inception v3 and inception uh, resnet v2 so let us use inception v3 actually so something like this and then inc that is an uh, inception object inception v3 and then i hope you remember some of the parameters that we have to give so the first parameter is input shape which is obviously 224 cross 224 cross 3 and then uh, the weights is actually basically from ImageNet. Weights is from ImageNet. And uh, then the last is uh, include top is equals to false. It's equals to false because I don't want the last layer to actually appear and I would actually give the prediction by myself. So I will run this piece of code and this will download the inception model for you actually. So I hope I am going to the internet. Yes, I am. Yeah, so it has downloaded the inception model for me. And now basically what I'm required to do is that I'm required to traverse in the inception layer and tell that, okay, uh, I don't need to train my inner layers and I will only like be using uh, the pre-trained model and I will be creating my own outer layer. For I in inc dot layers, I have to give I dot trainable, trainable is equals to false. I hope this is fine till here like what like same thing that we were actually doing in VGG model as well and now what I have to do is I have to basically call in like x is equals to flatten and then I have to give in inception dot output I hope I'm doing it correct and yes I have given inception dot output I have now flattened it and now I'll be making one layer on predictions which will be dense 10 because we have 10 neurons activation is equals to activation is equals to soft max and then basically x right and i will run this piece of code as well and now basically i have to create the model like from keras.import model and model is equals to model and then pass all the parameters right so let us just do this so from keras dot models import model and model is equals to model here uh, we have a thing which is known as inputs i guess uh, if i am using that correctly yeah it's inputs so it's equals to inc dot input and prediction uh, outputs is equals to prediction i need to check it once though that i am doing it correctly or not so if i go back and check over here yeah it's input and it's output right so input and output just a second though yeah so this won't basically come like this is not there uh, the input is equal to inc dot inputs and outputs is equal to pet and i will again call the model here as well 
so let us just wait for the model to actually like finish executing this cell and once this is done what i can do is it's running a bit slowly like what it's supposed to be but anyhow it has now gotten executed and now i can actually show you the model dot summary so and we will actually look how these differs from the general models i mean general theorem models or maybe vgt models as well so it should be model dot summary and yeah this is how it actually looks like i mean a lot of lot of layers and last layers is like 10 dense layers and then basically starting with like a lot of lot of layers and this means like it will take a good amount of time to actually get executed right i mean it, it can be in like some hours as well like for one epoch to actually get finished so let us hope like it does not take uh, much of a time though and uh, yeah so now we have to basically train the model so what i'll be doing is history new is equals to model dot fit generator and here i would pass in training data then i would pass in validation data and then i would pass in the epoch so let's say i'm just passing one epoch only if i say it's uh, doing it quite fast so then i can actually change it all right so i will go ahead and run this piece of code for you okay so basically before even actually i just forgot this so even actually before like uh, training our model we also have to compile it however i have another like error over here so let me first compile this model before training so model dot compile is like optimizer is equals to adam and loss is equals to categorical cross entropy and then metrics is obviously accuracy metrics is obviously accuracy something like this i will go ahead and run this piece of code for you and now we can like run this but before this we have to specify epochs is equals to one and let's see how how much time does it take for one epoch to get completed it has now started training the model and it tells me that i do have an error over here which says i have an error in the unknown loss function uh, which is categorical okay categorical hmm. spelling mistake categorical i guess this should be the spelling <laughs> nevertheless let me just run this over here again and basically now it should actually start training let us just see like how it basically trains itself and how much time does it take for one epoch and what is the accuracy that we actually receive so yeah it's training pretty fast actually so for uh, 50 seconds per epoch is basically nice however the loss is actually quite quite large if you actually see hope it will actually decrease significantly so nevertheless i will run it for 10 epochs right so once this is finished i will then run it for a total of 10 epochs maybe so total it will be 11 epochs and i guess we could actually have a good look at the accuracy from there so let's just like uh, wait for it to finish and then i will run it for nine epochs that would make it actually 10 so that would be good actually so yeah at the end of the 10 uh, at the end of the first epoch we have a loss of 70 which is very very high and an accuracy of 46 maybe just 47 46 and validation accuracy will be significantly lower standing at around 40 percent if i were to guess it correctly so if you see 47 percent is the accuracy and the validation accuracy is 53 <laughs> percent basically good but nevertheless like let it run it for more epochs and then see how it's actually performing nine more epochs so i will meet in the next lecture like where this training would actually get finished and we could actually see like how it's actually performing and whether it's performing better than our vgg model and cnn model or not so see you in the next one thank you